one day we may need to change one of Maxwell's equations. Notice a little asymmetry between those two equations. The divergence of the magnetic field is zero unlike the one of the electric field. Let's investigate this further. What I'm going to do is take this equation and integrate this over a volume. The integral of the divergence of B dV over a volume. And if the divergence is zero, then this means that this volume integral will be equal to zero. And we can use Gauss's theorem from mathematics to relate this volume integral to a surface integral, meaning that this will be equivalent to a surface integral over a closed area. What is the physical interpretation of this equation? Well, one interpretation would be that if we had a closed area, that there's no particles on the inside. Another interpretation would be that there are as many field lines coming out as there are field lines going in. The only way that this could happen was if there was a North Pole and a South Pole. In other words, this equation is actually telling us that magnetic monopoles cannot exist, that we can never have a single North Pole or a single South Pole because then the divergence of B will not be equal to zero. Here's where it gets tricky. This equation is equal to zero due to experimental results. We've never ever seen a magnetic monopole and we've been looking for them for the past 50 years. However, there's nothing in the laws of physics that is actually preventing them from existing. In fact, one of the founders of quantum mechanics, Paul Dirac, arrived at the conclusion that the only way we can explain the electric charge quantization is via magnetic monopoles. And if such a particle is ever to be found, then we would need to change this equation and the divergence of B would be proportional to some magnetic charge density. But in order to have a really deep understanding of those two equations, you absolutely need to have a look at this video right over here in which we derived the first of the Maxwell's equations. And this video is right over here.